Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Relationship Sessions with Sissy. Um, today we have two special guests, my awesome friend Whitney and her fiance Antoine, and they are going to shed some light on their relationship just to kind of give us a feel and, you know, just kind of go into detail on, on in such a way where they can kind of give us some information on how they kind of navigate through their relationship. Um, so Antoine, Whitney, thank you guys so much for joining me. I know you guys have so many other things that you need to get done, so I appreciate you taking the time to kind of do this segment with me. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for having us, E. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. Uh, all right, so standard question you guys know I like to ask, how did you guys meet? Um, we are high school sweethearts. Okay. <laughs> um, so we met in the halls of um, Elbert County High School. Okay, okay. Who approached you? Uh, I I was the pursuer. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had my eyes on him. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Um now um were there any okay, so let's go. Were there any separations during the time from high school to now? Were there any sep separations in your or in a gap in, in your relationship? Yeah, what, from what, 2005 to what, 2010 or something like that? Yeah, I left, yeah. I left Elberton and moved to Augusta. So I was down here and he was in Elberton. So we had a, we still were together, but we had a long distance relationship and, you know, we kind of was young and just, mm -hmm doing all the wrong things we shouldn't have been doing in a relationship, so. Okay, okay. Um, so with that, what is the one thing you love most about your partner? What's the word? Oh, what was the question again? Um, okay. what, is the, what is one thing you love most about your partner? Oh, uh, I love that she's, um, she's, She's very giving and uh, she's very family oriented and uh, she's driven Ooh. and she gonna do what she gotta do to make stuff happen, you know? Oh, that's, what, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So Whitney, what would you say one thing um, you love most about Twan? Um, well, I can't just name one thing. I would say I love that he's he's patient and he loved me through my flaws and oh, that's you, know, good. Goes, you know what I'm saying? I, I may go left and he'll he'll steer me back on the right path when I'm having crazy days. He always, you know, bring me back to realize it, it could be worse. I told mm -hmm. him the other day that he's my he's my yin to my He's the yin to my yang. Oh, you, say, you know if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, Such balance. Yeah, good. I'm, yeah, I'm like, I'm like loud, you know, social butterfly, mm -hmm. and then Tuan mm -hmm. kind of reserved. So yeah. I kind of, you know, I kind of get him out of his comfort zone, like doing this. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So we kind of. But it, well, it's, it's pretty big because it's, it just states that you know I don't like doing this, but we're not got you. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. that's what's up. That's good. And I appreciate him doing it. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Y'all have a good time after this. Sound like. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um. So Todd, I see him in the back lurking. How did Todd, my, my dude, how did he change the dynamic of your relationship? <laughs> well, I think he brought us closer. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think he brought us closer together and, you know, kind of helped make our relationship like our bond closer because yeah. you know he was a part of both of us and we you know we loved each other separately so we brought him in it was like a plus to yeah yeah okay okay that's good so with, with that it, did you guys have like did you guys have to kind of figure out like the duties did you have to have to split duties and stuff like that when it came to him or how did y'all kind of figure it out 
Um, well, when he was a baby, um, we used to take turns, and then we used to say who, when whoever smelt it, had to take care of the oh, diaper. Okay. That we used to do. Whoever smelt it first. So I used to intentionally not say nothing <laughs> when I used to smell. It. That's good. So at least y'all had some type of strategy, though. <laughs> but we equally, you know, took care of him because um, Antoine had just moved to. Augusta and he was in um he was going to Augusta Tech so he wasn't working and I was um I was off due to maternity leave so we kind of you know took it and rolled with it and we made it into this and yeah 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 a big difference yeah that's good <laughs> all right um so what what would you say some of your struggles are in your relationship like what do you say what would you say some some struggles that you guys kind of battle with? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I guess mine would be with her with is, um, <clears throat> like, I might say, some, I might say something that doesn't, that doesn't go with what she would say. And she would tell me like, I should have said it like this or mm. should have did it like this. And, you know, we just try to understand each other better and, you know, Okay, try to so like kind of figure out yeah. a communication style, different communication yeah. style. So we yeah. I know how you can get. <laughs> oh, yeah, you already know. <laughs> so it's more of a requesting, like maybe maybe making a request opposed to a demand. <laughs> oh, would you say that? I would say I need to allow him to make whatever whatever he's got going on without me trying to bust in and add my opinion to it. Just let him do his own thing and okay. take my step back and let him finish okay. whatever he got going on. Okay. I'll word it. You know how I word it. Yeah, he might word something somewhere and I'm like, well, you should have said that because I don't understand that. Or what right. you mean by that? Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So commu you would say communication would be one of the struggles that you kind of deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with that now, um, have you guys found like a strategy to kind of deal with the communication issue or how, I mean, like, I know you said you kind of step back, but is it, I mean, do you just step back or how do you kind of. I let him being that he has voiced it to me and let me know that Whitney, you need to, you know, stay in your own lane and let me do this. And nice. handle this. I got it. You no need got to worry it. about it. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I take it. You know, I I let him do that. You know, because mm -hmm. like he said, I am a. Once I get something in my mind, it's on go. Yeah. And it's I go 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 until it's done. So if he take longer to do it and get it done, I may have something to say when, and then and realize and realize, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said it. And let mm -hmm. him do it at his pace or whatever like that. Oh, that's I look at it. That was one of the struggles I was would say too, because I tend to expect him to see my point all the time. And when he got a point, I don't be want to oh, yeah, I don't be wanna hear it. I want him to hear my point and that's it. Period. So that's I had good. to realize that that wasn't that wasn't working for him. And then he would shut, you know, wouldn't want to tell me or whatever. So then it would go the opposite way or really what I was trying to do. So I had to learn how to. You had to realize you weren't the only, only one in the relationship. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. And that was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's good. Um. So how would you say um, your relationship with Christ helped mold your relationship? Um. I would say... You know, without God, you know, nothing is possible. So when you ask God to give you the answers and pray about what you need and ask him to just help you out and mm. he'll he'll show you ways to love your partner in ways you mm. can't do on your own. Mm, that's so, good. Yeah, yeah. And then so and and when you when you have a relationship with God, he gives you a sense of calmness and peace. So you have less arguments, less frustration because you be like, they're gonna give it to God. I'm not gonna worry about it. And 
Yeah. See, I'm an overreactor, <laughs> and he's calm, and so yeah, that, that that's the main thing. He gives you a different view of looking at ways to help you to navigate through a relationship. That's good stuff, Wits. <laughs> good. Okay. Um. Now, with your relationship, with all the you know the longevity of your relationship, did you have to give up anything to make your relationship work? Like, was there anything that you had to like? I gotta put it aside. You know, I got a full family now. Like, or or how do you? I mean, what would you say? Or or if there's anything that you had to give up? Me being the only child, I had to learn. I got. I'm still learning how to share. And don't be selfish, and it's not all about me. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Because yeah. And that, I think that does play a you know a major part yeah. being the only child because you know you have to learn. And yeah. like still to this day, I'll take over the bed. <laughs> yeah. I can't help me. <laughs> <laughs> I literally be on his side. Yeah. <laughs> Twan, I bet. What you be like, Twan? Yeah, I just sometimes I just get up and just come in the living room and just pull. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say nothing okay. really. I didn't have to really change nothing. You know, just young ways. You had to mature. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Yeah. That's it. And that's another thing with our relationship. We were. I was fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was eighteen, so we basically had to grow up together, and we're still mm -hmm. learning different things about each other. Like here recently, and we're now able to—I think we are able to fight fair and have a strategy. You know, instead of it blowing up over days, we can just talk about it and get it over with right then, instead of having to be carrying on. You know. And I don't be yelling and carrying on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because when you okay. start yelling, you're not listening. Right, right. Kind of going one way out of Now, this, I'm kind of pivoting a little bit. So I know you guys, like, take walks and stuff like that together. Now, do you think that's kind of, like, enhancing your relationship as well? Like, with that quality time with you guys just it, being outside together, enjoying the moment? Like, do you think that's kind of, that, that kind of enhanced your relationship? Yeah. 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 Okay. Think so. yeah. Because yeah, after especially after a long day at work. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. And then I you know, that's motivation to get out there and do something. Right. You know, physical instead of just sitting in the house and try to motivate each other. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So my last question, guys. How did you guys know it was time to lock it in? How did you guys know it was time to marry? Uh, well, I mean, I, I knew, uh, I knew for a while, but I decided to make it official, you know, because we've been together for so long and we've been living together now for almost 10 years and we got this little runt running around here. So it's perfect time. Yeah. <laughs> perfect so time to go ahead and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we've been together for <laughs> 17 years. That's a long time. That's a long time. Yeah. It's about to be 17 years. Wow. <laughs> it Did you guys, I mean, huh? I said it definitely was time. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, people, yeah, yeah. People always ask, why y'all not married? Why y'all not married? But it was it always has to be your time and you can't get married because other people want you to do right. it. It yeah. had to be our timing. And, you know, I felt like I didn't want to push the issue on it. I want to get married a long time ago, but I didn't want to push it. And especially because I kind of approached him and I was like, well, I'm not going to be the one to get down on my knee. Cause I asked him, <laughs> you know, from the beginning, I'm going to want a relationship. So, you know, yeah. So, so when he proposed, were you shocked? Yeah, I was so <laughs> shocked, Eve. So shocked. It was a total surprise. Really? Surprise. So yeah. I just gotta ask, I just gotta ask, how did you do it? <laughs> um she, she was in the bathroom and she had the door closed and I just got on one knee in front of the door and she opened it. 
Outrider. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> 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 well, congratulations on you guys' uh, uh, you. wedding. I know it's coming up, um, so I'm, I'm just elated, you know. And I hate that I can't be a part of it, but, you know, you I'm in that spirit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And you know I'm here if you need anything, so that kind of concludes our interview or the segment y'all thank you so much you guys have done a wonderful job i appreciate it again Toyota. like i said i know this ain't y'all thing particularly so i appreciate you guys you know being open and kind of sharing your story with me i um hopefully this was beneficial to some of you guys if so make sure you like share subscribe to this channel um as always be blessed and i'll talk to you soon thank you guys i love you love you